how how great a feeling was that for you to become the first world champion out of Jamaica? I was, I was overwhelmed because you know, when I went home, I had a big parade. I had a, oh man, it was overwhelmed. You know what I mean? I was overwhelmed. Everybody loved me. I, all kinds of stuff was happening there for me. But when I come to the scene here to fight these guys, they would get me fight. Big guys. They would fight me. They, they don't know me. I tried Leonard. I talked to Leonard Duran. He decided to fight me. Then he changed his mind and fight him with Thomas Herman. They wouldn't fight me. Yeah, but was that was that a lot to do? Because at that time, I remember you, you were the Crom Gym, and you knew Emmanuel Stewart, and then you, you left Emmanuel. Was that because there's a lot? Of was that because they gave the shot to Tommy Hearns, and Tommy Hearns already had a version of the title to fight Duran, and you were number one contender to fight Duran? Was that the reason why you left? And, and went over to the Duvers, or was it something else? Why, why did you leave? I was number one contender to Durant and to Thomas Hearns. Yeah. The WBC, WBA. Yeah. The, Thomas was WBC. Right. I was number one contender. WBA was Durant. I was number one contender to both guys. For all year, no, nobody fight me. I was in the same camp as, as Thomas Hearns. So I said to Malice Stewart, don't worry about it, I fight Durant. Because Durant was a big guy then. Yeah. Durant was a man then. I'd rather fight Duran, you get bigger money. And if I win the fight with Duran, you're more established and I'd be more known than a Thomas Hearns. And he said, yeah, Mike, I'm gonna get the fight. But in the same time, he always take the fight for Duran to fight Thomas Hearns and not me. So you when felt I like he betrayed out, you? He betrayed me. When I found out that I left him, I went to the Doovers. Right, because like, your time with the Doovers, how rewarding was it for you that you got to fight Milk McCory, when you defended your title, um, when you defended the WBA title against Milk McCory, because I remember reading in the Kale magazine that you said that you wanted to hit Milton so hard that you wanted to collapse in Emmanuel Stewart's arms. So how rewarding, because it was like your style of fighting wasn't like you wouldn't start warming up to round five. But then they had 15 round fights, you wouldn't start warming up. You were now like you you pop that shot and sometimes you'd wing that right hand over to the body, like you throw an arc and kind of shot and then come up with the left hook to the body. I used to study you, Mike. I used to study you a lot. When you when you battered Norton McCory, was that more like you was trying to that was saying to the establishment on the crop, like look, I'm teaching you a lesson here? It was me getting back at them. I beat first I beat McCory, I beat Braxton, and I asked him and said, the next one is Thomas Ernst. I want to win through the whole thing team, crunk team, because the thing you have done to me not having me fight Duran and have Thomas Hearns instead, and keep telling me all along up to the point, you fight, don't worry, I'm getting a fight for you and Duran. And behind my back, he's already taking the fight for Thomas to fight him. So when I understand that, I left him and I said, I'm going to beat everybody down. I said, I'm going to destroy you. I beat, <laughs> I beat him and McCory. I beat Braxton. I said, the next person I want to fight is Thomas Hearns. He gave me a picture. I said one time in next, he said, okay, here's the picture of Tommy. I said, I want a picture of one time. He said, that's the only time you'll get. Is that what he said? Yeah. That's, that's when you left? Yeah. No, I said I left. All right. Yeah. Well, that's I said, I want Tommy next. Did that hurt you that you never got a fight with Tommy? Oh, hands? man, he meant to. I called him all kinds of names, which I can't say on, <laughs> on tape, but I called him all kinds of names. But, you know, I was inducted in boxing all of fame. World Boxing Hall of Fame, and I was inducted in the World International Boxing Hall of Fame. And I said to myself, you know, I didn't get those things. I get the fight, I get all of the athletes that it was, three champ world champion, first champion for Jamaica. I was inducted in the Boxing Hall of Fame, and in boxing the World International Boxing Hall of Fame. Those things were good achievements, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, great achievements. Yeah.